Our next guest is a very funny man you know from dozens of movies and TV shows. You can see him live October 20th in Greensboro, North Carolina, and November 10th in Wheatland, California. Please welcome Mike Epps. <laughs> Jimmy. I enjoy seeing you. I'm happy when you walk out you here. You too, brother Jimmy. Did you meet Marty Scorsese, by the way? Man, I, yeah, I was in Casino. You didn't see me in Casino. Oh. Wait, who were you in Casino? I died so quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I seen him, man. I, I love Martin's movies, man. Yeah, 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 sure. It would be like kind of a dream Good to be fellas, in. come on, man. You know, it doesn't get any better than that. Hey. There are no movies better than that one. Never. Yeah. What's your favorite scene from Goodfellas? Oh, man, when he was... Uh, when the helicopter was flying around his house and his wife was hot, flushing everything in the yeah. toilet, and he was still cooking while the feds was, oh, man. Have you crazy. yourself had any experiences like that? <laughs> a couple, you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I saw you've been traveling a lot lately, huh? I have, man. Yeah. Well, you went to Iceland. I went to Iceland, uh, man. What, uh, what possessed you to go to Iceland? It, well, everybody kept calling me like, man, I see you and your wife on a honeymoon. I said, no, nah, that's a doghouse trip. What does that mean? I was in the doghouse. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I see. It's like, a, yeah. you, we better go on a nice yeah, vacation. Yeah, we better go on a nice vacation. Yeah. But my wife, my beautiful wife, she wanted to go to Iceland. She said, you know, I'm tired of laying on these beaches. You're always ready to come home. You're on your phone the whole time. Let's go somewhere interesting. So I said, all right, let's go. We went to Iceland. And the whole time I'm standing there, I'm like, man, this is some white people. <laughs> yes, very much so. Yeah. And, and I'm sitting there, you know, because I, I, I watch this on Discovery Channel. When I'm watching it, I'm like, why the hell are them people there? And why would they go there? And then I realized I was there. I said, damn. And we that's... That can't be fun for your wife, right? <laughs> She's playing this My beautiful... wife was sitting there smiling and laughing. Oh, we sitting in, a, in a, the blue lagoon water, you know, that little light blue water? It yeah. looked like some Kool-Aid. We were sitting up in there, we had drinks. That sounds nice. It was. The Hell, steam yeah. was coming up off of it. So I'm glad I went. Oh, good. You did have a good time. <laughs> yeah, you I did a video have a good... from the trip. Tell yeah. us what's happening uh, in this video. Right here is the opening of a volcano. Oh, man. That's, that's a volcano. The only, one the only the opening volcano you can go in in the world. And it was 100 feet deep in the ground. That's 100 feet deep How'd down. How'd you get down there? They put us on some type of little... Uh, it had some ropes and it was going... I cl my eyes was closed the whole time. <laughs> and when I woke up, my wife was like, you little <laughs> you punk, wake up. up, you little chicken. <laughs> well, being lowered into a volcano is not necessarily something you want to do. At all. You At know? all, yeah. yeah. I mean, you must have really been in the doghouse. I was, man. <laughs> yeah. To go down in a volcano, yeah. <laughs> Thrown in the volcano. Man. So uh, that was uh, good. Do you recommend going in the volcano or no? Well, you know what? I think everybody should see that. If you ain't never been to Iceland, go to Iceland, man. Uh -huh. It's beautiful, you know, They and, and it's got several different views there. You know, you can go all the way up to the Antarctic. You can go up where it's snow and it's 100, 100 degrees below, and then you can go where the river and the water is and it's warm. So it's got a bunch of different climates there. I heard there. it's beautiful. Did you see the northern lights while you were up I there? I seen the northern oh, lights, oh, man. It was, great. It, was, it was, oh, man, I've it was beautiful, man. I always wanted to see that. It yeah. was beautiful, man. It's it's all they say it is? It, they, it's all they say it is. And you know what? One thing I liked about it, I was up there and I needed some weed. <laughs> <laughs> For the Northern Lights, For yeah. For the Northern Lights. Sure, yeah. And uh, I called Snoop. Oh, what? I said Snoop, man. Was you know Snoop what? in Iceland? No. He was home. <laughs> I said, you know anybody up here? He said, you know I do, cuz. <laughs> he had a guy in Iceland? He had a guy in Iceland. <laughs> and, and he sent me to the dude's house, and it was in the ghetto. They got a hood. They do? <laughs> and it was a little chunky white guy, and he, had, he looked like Bam Bam from Flintstones. He had, like, <laughs> a ponytail on his head, and he had, like, a couple teeth missing. He was like, yeah. <laughs> Snoop Dogg sent you. I was like, yeah. And he had a bulldog. I got, I, I called Snoop. I said, man, the, the eagle has landed. 
He said, right on, cuz. Love you, dog. <laughs> That's incredible. That's I mean, incredible. I wonder if he has a contact in every country in the world. Man, I'm telling you, I had a friend that went to the moon, man, and he called me and said, <laughs> said Snoop this? sent him something way up there, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> you had a friend that went to the moon. You, oh, you and your wife are doing, uh, like, a house flipping show, right? Yeah, me and my wife, man. Oh, uh, I love that idea. That's pretty cool, right? You, are you interested in that stuff? Well, you know what? I, what got me interested in it is that I still live in the home I was born in. That's right. And that's 50 in, years ago. In Indianapolis, In Indianapolis. Right? So what I did was I went and bought all of the houses that we got evicted out of when I was a kid. <laughs> is that true? Yeah, that's true. And I went back to the, the hood, the ghetto, and I bought all of these undeveloped houses. Uh -huh. Now, I did this about 30 years ago. Oh, wow. Now, these houses was $5 a piece when I did this. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Now these houses are worth a half a million dollars in these neighborhoods. Really? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and, and not only that, we were able to save some of the other neighbors' houses. We, you look at the gentrification. Right. It's in sure. the city. So yeah. we was able to save some of the other houses, some of these other people's houses that was losing houses. Man, and my wife, she designed everything. Man, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have never had this idea. So she said, man, why don't we go back to your neighborhood revitalize it, bring it back, because they're doing it anyway. Uh -huh. But make sure you have a section in that neighborhood. And that's what we've been doing, man. We've been back there building houses, When you man. say you have a section, do you have, like, a cul-de-sac, like a block, or what do you have? I got, like, I got a whole block. I got a whole block. I got a whole block. I bought, I bought my house. I bought... It was a guy that used to bully me down the street. I bought his house. He did. Did you get it? He's out? Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Oh, he been gone out okay, there. Good. I got him out of there. But, but yeah, man, it was really, really... Was, Do your old friends come over to play? I mean, what happens when you live in your on your old block? Are they still the same families at all living there? No, most of my friends are just dead and in jail. They ain't okay, around right, most right. of them. Oh, you're lucky. You're lucky. Yeah, yeah. I'm the only one still yeah. there. You know what I mean? But, uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, man, it's, it's beautiful, man, to still be in that neighborhood, man. And sometimes it's still surreal to me because I'm riding down the street, me and my wife and my kids, down the street that I played on. Wow. And it's like, sometimes I have to pinch myself and say, did you ever get out of here? <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, and I'm like, I got to go. I got to get back to Hollywood because wow. I feel like I never left. When does that show come on? That show comes on November the 4th, but I got it in the back for you if you want to buy it. Oh, you do? A yeah, yeah, yeah. Of it. You sell it to me? Yeah, I'll tell you a little, a little clip of How it. How is that shit? Wow. Uh, you revitalized HGTV. your block. You turned Iceland into Greenland. You've done so much <laughs> since we last saw each other. <laughs> I did. You know man. what? Snoop's going to be here tomorrow. I got to quiz him. I'm going to name countries and see if he has a guy uh, in <laughs> each of those countries. All right? That'll be good. All right. All right. My gifts, everybody. I'll see Mike live on October 20th yeah. in Greensboro, November 10th in Wheatland, California. We'll be back with Chelsea Cutler. Well done, guys.